Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nikita Marshall from SMPT Samashin Nikia. Today, I want to talk about the influence of technology of the development of Islamic religion in the world. There's no doubt that along with the times, technological advances are able to bring major change to the world, including to civilization. Then, what is the view of Islam on the development of technology? Globalization is one result of technological advance. The rush of incoming information has a negative and positive impact on the Muslim community in the world. This is where the role of religion becomes very important. As a control of attitude and behavior, it cannot be separate from technological progress. Technological progress that is not matched by religion will be in vain. In fact, it can be a fire that can strike back. Islam views technology as something very important. In Surah Mujallah verse 11, which means, Allah will raise those who believe among you and those who are knowledgeable to several degrees. Islam emphasizes how noble people who have knowledge and who know technology are. So it's a wrong thing when there are some groups who excuse Islam of being an old school religion and all that religion due to the fact that Allah has ordered Muslim to study and conduct research on existing technologies long before the technology was created. We can see from his words as follows in Surah Al-Alaq verse 1 until 5, the sentence read is a terminology with which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs his servants to study and conduct research on existing technologies. Whereas Muslims are not allowed to descend from technologies and can desire it a heresy. Because with it, we can face the challenge of the times. Moreover, without religion, technology can damage the system of life. Furthermore, Islam with all is a values and teachings is a very important comp component to balance and technological progress. So these values and teachings must be instilled in the younger generation of Islam from an early age. One way is by not forgetting Islamic education in school and uh, communities. We need to know at the time of Abbasid Caliphate, many scientists were born from Muslim, such as Al Khwarizmi, who discovered the number zero, Ibn Khaldun, as the father of uh, Islamic sociology, uh, and many other Muslim scientists. The scientists were not only have a intellectual intelligence, but also have a, a emotional intelligence and spiritual intelligence. In the end, Islam should not be separate from technological advance. Because through studies, we can limit ourselves from the violence of globalization. I think that's all for my speech. Thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.